Tova, Congregation B'nai Israel. We welcome you into this space, wherever you might be tonight, marking this introduction. We dip our toes into this new year, 5781. Whether you are sitting in your backyards, in your dining room tables, or you're driving in your car, taking in a beautiful sunset, we welcome you to this space, to this new year, to these prayers, to this music. We bring an openness to what's to come and celebrate one another. We bring the gifts we all have to share with this community and with this world. So we begin tonight with the lighting of our holiday candles. If you at home would like to join with us, you can take out your candles at this time. Very pleased to invite up our president, Larry Levine, who's joining us here in our beautiful outdoor space uh, to light our holiday candles tonight. Please join me. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kichanu b'mitzvotav, betzivanu lehadikner, lehadikner, shel shabbat Shall Yom Tov. Larry, we thank you. In your first two months of presidency, you have led us uh, with great patience, with great love for this community, and we are immensely grateful to you, what you've done, and the light that you have brought to B'nai Israel. So thank you for being here, and we wish you and your family a Shana Tova. Thanks, Larry. We're going to continue our service. If you do have a Machsor, a prayer book, and want to follow along, we'll announce the page numbers. Uh, we are going to continue our service on page 12. To everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. This is the season of the soul, a time to rejoice, a time to reflect, a time to return. A time to gather around the table with loved ones and friends. A time for song and silence. For prayer and confession to open the heart. A time to retreat to our sanctuaries within. A time to renew the life and spirit of our community. This is the season of attentiveness. A time to notice what has unfolded and what has not. A time to regret. A time to forgive a time to remember cherished dreams and high ideals erased by reality. This is the season of hope, like mist rising at sunset, like dew descending at dawn. Our hopes beautifully beautify and nourish everything they touch. Our hopes make us partners in creation, pursuers of peace, people who aspire to a world of justice. This is the season of awe, when our eyes behold it, may we feel blessed. When we turn toward each other, let us feel strength. When we seek the holy, may we find purpose. May we find courage. May we find love. Page nine.
Page 19, a blessing for this new year. Our God and God of our ancestors, may we know your blessings in the year 5,781. Eternal One, bless us and the whole house of Israel with renewed life, happiness and peace, comfort and courage, resilience and strength. May the words of our heart be acceptable to you in the year that stretches before us, we are forever grateful for the gift of life. We continue on page 20, the words of the Baruchu. to die.
Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kivod Malchuto Have a seat. We'll continue on page 28. <laughs> Asher anochi matavecha, hayom alivavecha, veshinantam levanecha, vedibartabam, veshivtecha bavetecha, uvlechtecha vaderech, uvshoch becha ukumecha, uksartam leot al yadecha, vehayule totafot vein einecha. Uchtav tam al mezuzot betecha uvisharecha leman tiskeru vaasitem et kol mitzvotai vihitem kedoshim lelohechem ani Adonai elohechem asher hotei etchem meeretz mitzrayim liot lachem lelohim. Ani Adonai Elohechem. Amen. The very bottom of page 33. You have stayed long enough in this place, God said. Time to go forward. Turn your face to the future. Believe that you can cross the sea and survive. Inside you is a Moses. Within you, Miriam dances unafraid. Lift up your voice and sing a new song. Continue on page 34. Continue on page 36 in our prayer books, the words of Hashti Venu. We are accustomed to gathering together on these holy days. And certainly there's that sense of loss as we are listening or watching to this service in our homes or perhaps in small groups. And so we offer this prayer as a, as a way, as a force of connecting with one another to offer love and peace and friendship in this world that extends far beyond our physical distance, but the, what we bring to the greater world around us. 
And so we turn to this prayer in the words are on page 36. On page forty, it got all, it got a shamera Belma di vera hirute Beyam nichmahute Behaihon of Yomehon of Hayed. Beit Israel, Bagalau is man kariv, Vimeru Amin, Yeheshmerabam Evarach, Leala Mulal Mealmaya, Yit Barach, Yit Barach, Vid Baar, Vid Romam, Vid Nase, Vid Hadar, Vid Hale, Vid Hale, Shemed Kudesha, Berichu, Le Eila, Ule Minko Berchata, Beshirata, Tu 
The great 20th century thinker, maybe so Soloveitchik, once said that um, for thousands of years, God spoke to us. When we read the Bible, it is God speaking to us and us listening. And then God went quiet. And at that time, God began to wait for us to say something and is still waiting for us to say something, something that matters, something that changes this world, something that pieces together the broken shards. And so on this new year, 5781, we take that charge. What is it we want to say? What is it we want to offer to this world that is so very broken? So in that vein, we'll turn to the words on page 42, uh, blending together a familiar melody with these ancient words. I'll invite you, if you'd like to rise at this time, to please do so, either in body or spirit. And we'll continue together the Tefila. Continue with the words of the Tefillah. I have an opportunity for some silent prayer. I'll offer you a little bit of music in the background as we realize we're on the radio. Uh, and if you are flipping through, I want to make sure there's some uh, something going through the airwaves uh, so you can find some silent place. If you want it to be totally silent, you can just turn down the radio volume. If not, you can also enjoy this beautiful music for just a few moments before we'll turn back to our service.
now to all who are in pain, to all that is broken in this world at this time. We offer prayers for healing, beginning on page 72. May the Eternal One who blesses all life bless and strengthen all of us who struggle against illness. May we whose lives are touched by illness be blessed with faith, courage, love, and caring. May we experience the support and sustenance of family, friends, companions, and community. May we be granted restful nights and days of comfort. We pray for Refuash Lema, precious moments of healing and a sense of wholeness in body and soul. May those who care for the sick with their hands, their voices, and their hearts be blessed with courage and stamina. And may those who pursue healing through medical skill and knowledge be blessed with insight, patience, and compassion. May all of us, the sick and the well together, find courage and hope. We continue with Misha Berach on page 245.
we continue on page 75 as we prepare ourselves for our very first uh, Vinu Malkinu of this High Holy Day season. A Vinu Malkinu, sustain our roots. Send rain to our roots, help us find a way to pray. Make us humble and forgiving of ourselves and one another. A Vinu Malkinu, renew these words. Help us speak them with conviction and believe their truth. A hundred generations have stood before the ark and they lifted up their voices like flame on the altar. And they put their trust in kindness and justice and they gave their strength to make the promise real. Avinu Malkinu, we have not forgotten. Avinu Malkinu, bring us back to you. Page 77. Avinu Malkinu, Shema Koleinu. Avinu Malkinu, almighty and merciful, hear our voice. Avinu Malkinu, Chatanu Lefanach. Avinu Malkinu, we have strayed and sinned before you. Avinu Malkinu, Chamolaleinu, Laladoleinu, Vitapenu. Avinu Malkinu, have compassion on us and our families. Avinu Malkinu, Kaleidaver Vecharev. Avinu Malkinu, halt the onslaughts of sickness, violence, and hunger. Avinu Malkinu, kale kol tsaru mastin me'aleinu. Avinu Malkinu, halt the reign of those who cause pain and terror. Avinu Malkinu, kot veinu besefer chayim tovi. Avinu Malkinu, enter our names in the book of lives well lived. Avinu Malkinu, chadesh aleinu, chadesh aleinu, shana tova. Avinu Malkinu, renew us for a year of goodness. Avinu Malkinu, choneinu vane. Avinu Malkinu, Choneinu Vaneinu, Ki ein banu masim, Ase imanu, Tzedaka vachesed, Ase imanu, Tzedaka vachesed, Vashienu Avinu Malkinu Avinu Malkinu Turning now to page seventy eight, I invite you to Fill a glass, and we lift our glasses in joy and celebration for all the blessings and all the simchas that we celebrated together this past year, and in honor of all the goodness and all the joy that is still to come. Page 78. Lift this cup for the year that is gone, for mountaintop moments and the taste of joy, celebrations shared, milestones met, all we've mastered and achieved since we last met. For wedding rings, tears, and kisses under the chuppah, new babies, first words, and first steps. For the children who bless our homes and bring life to our community. For B'nai Mitzvah and confirmands, young teachers of this holy congregation, ours to cherish and guide with love. For beloved wives and husbands, sisters and brothers, for loyal friends who grow more precious with each passing year, for this community which nourishes us all, for all we've learned, for all we've struggled through, for challenges surmounted and disappointments met with courage, for last moments shared with those we loved and lost, 
for parents and grandparents whose memories are with us forever. We lift this cup for the year that is gone, for the year that begins. May we meet it in strength, in unity, and in hope. We lift life's cup and we celebrate survival. So may we sanctify each day that is ours. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Torei peri hagafem. Amen. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher bachar banu mikol am, Verom emanu mikol ashon, Vikidshanu bemitzvotav, Vatiten lanu Adonai Eloheinu beahava, Et yom hashabat haze, Vayet yom hazikaron haze, Yom teru. Mikra Kodesh, Zecher Litziat Mitznaim, Kivanu Vacharta Veotanu Kidashta, Mikol Hamim, Udivar Chaimet, Vekayam Laor, Baruch Ata Kola Eretz, Mikadesh Hashabat, Ve Israel, Ve Yom Hazikaron. Tonight, I know that many of us are holding precious memories of being together on the beach and in our sanctuary for Erev Rosh Hashanah. And I know that so many of us are looking forward to future days when we can all be together again with toes in the sand, welcoming in the new year. And so tonight, I offer you a beach story for this Rosh Hashanah. Our Torah tells us that once upon a time, there was Jacob and there was Rachel. And together, Jacob and Rachel had a baby named Benjamin, or in Hebrew, Ben Yamin, meaning son of my strength. And Jacob and Rachel's sweet son of strength could not have arrived at a better time because little Benjamin came into the world during a time of tremendous pain and loss and uncertainty for Jacob and his family. And so when Jacob held his baby boy in his arms for the very first time, he bent down and he kissed his smooth, soft kepi and whispered, Benjamin, you are the son of my strength. You will give us the strength to keep going you will teach us that even in the midst of short-term despair, we can still find long-term hope. You will be our tiny, precious reminder that despite it all, we will persist. We will find a way forward just as we have always done, one tiny baby step at a time. A few thousand years later, Rabbi Schultz, Cantor Rubel, and I met another Ben Yamin. This past July, on a beach, in fact, we met another beautiful new baby named Benjamin, who, like his biblical namesake, became the son of our strength. It all started when two Israeli dads, Sander and Guy, decided that they wanted to expand their growing family. And because Israel's religiously conservative government, shall we say, doesn't love the idea of same-sex adoptions, Sander and Guy looked outwards and found their new baby where else but in Bridgeport, Connecticut, due to arrive in July of 2020. All of this was, of course, before any news of a global pandemic. 
but by July of 2020, baby Benjamin was coming anyway, and therefore so too were Guy and Sander and two-year-old big brother Aviv. And the three of them arrived in Bridgeport with just enough time for their mandatory two-week quarantine, because just, at, just as those two weeks were up, without much time to spare, little Benjamin made his way into the world four weeks early. Son of our strength, indeed. But there was one more step before heading back to Israel. Baby Benjamin needed to officially become Jewish. Luckily, Guy and Sander had heard of a certain rabbi at a certain congregation in Bridgeport. And that is how Rabbi Schultz, Cantor Rubel, and I became a part of the story. Now, normally, we would have accompanied baby Benjamin and his family to our local ritual bath called a mikvah, where we would have given him a quick dip in the mikvah's warm, cleansing waters, which for thousands of years have symbolically transferred a person from one state of being to the next. But of course, these are not normal times. And because of that, our local mikvah is temporarily closed for conversion ceremonies. But nevertheless, just as Jews have been doing for thousands of years, we found another way. And we journeyed instead to the ocean, to the original mikvah, on a beautiful summer day at the end of July. And on that beautiful summer day on the shore of the Long Island Sound, Guy and Sander held up their beautiful baby boy. They kissed his smooth, soft kepi, and they dipped his tiny two-week-old toes into the vast ocean waves. And then together, we recited the blessings that welcomed him into our collective Jewish family. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shehechianu Vehigianu Vekiyamanu Lazman Hazeh. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, for giving us life and for sustaining us. And blessed are you, Adonai, our God, for the enduring, unrelenting persistence of the human spirit, which has allowed us to reach this sacred moment. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, for this sacred moment with these two extraordinary fathers who have crossed oceans and moved mountains in the midst of a global health pandemic, no less, to bring their sweet baby into their safe and loving home. And so on that beautiful beach, on that beautiful day, baby Benjamin truly became Ben Yamin, the son of our strength. On that day, he gave us the strength to keep going. On that day, he taught us that even in the midst of short-term despair, we can still find long-term hope. On that day, he became our tiny, precious reminder that despite it all, we will find a way forward, just as we have always done, one tiny baby step at a time. Oftentimes, the most beautiful stories are the stories of our own lives, the stories that we are living right at this very moment, all of the stories that are, that are unfolding right here and right now. These are the stories that we will tell our children someday. These are the stories that our children will tell to their children, and their children will tell to their children on all of the Rosh Hashanahs that are yet to come. Someday, many years from now, future generations will talk and tell stories about this unbelievable moment in time. Someday, we will be the Jacobs and the Rachels and the Benjamins from long ago, and they will be the ones transmitting our stories of strength and resilience. They will tell the stories about all the weddings and all the b'nai mitzvahs and all the new babies that we celebrated, even in the midst of all the chaos and all the uncertainty. And they will tell our stories of returning to school and returning to work and how we all ultimately found our way forward one day at a time, one tiny baby step at a time, one toe in the vast ocean waters at a time. Every year at the end of our Passover Seder, we say, B'Shana Haba'a B'Yerushalayim, next year in Jerusalem. On this Rosh Hashanah, we say, B'Shana Haba'a B'Yachad B'Chof, next year together on the beach, 
with toes in the water and toes in the sand. We wish all of you a Shana Tova, a sweet new year, full of health, strength, perseverance, and hope. We continue on page 82 with the Elenu, and I invite you to rise in body or spirit. Alenu le shabeach la don ha kol, la teit gedula li otzer breishit, shelo asanu kigoye ha aratot, velo asamanu kamishpechot ha adama, shelo samechelkenu kahem, begon alenu kechol hamonam, Vaanachnu korim, umishtachavim, umodim, lifne melech, malache hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu. Venemar, vehaya donai, lemelech al kul haaretz, bayom hahu, bayom hahu, Ushemo, 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 Echad. On this Shabbat, on this Erev Rosh Hashanah, we bring to mind those we've loved and lost at this time in years past and in recent days, beginning with those who are on our congregation's yard site list for this week. Mortimer Aaron, Shirley Barrison, Ida Blam, Stanley Breslow, Naomi Buck, Zachary Darak, Samuel Gurr, Ruth Kone Greenberg, Martin Kamisher, Barbara Klein, Virginia Kreuzer, Rabbi Jacob Jack Lance, Stephen Lessler, Seymour Levenbaum, Frederick Hugh Levine, Rose Levy, Fanny Madwed, Joseph Mann, Leonard Victor O, Ellen Orleans, Agnes Panish, Joseph Palachek, Louis Radom, Sylvia Rosenberg, Vencion Shapiro, Susan Shapiro, Louis Solomon, Babette Sonneborn, Sophie Starr, Mildred Stoller, Louis Swire, and Ruth Simroth. And we recall the recent loss of Ellen Rost, wife of Sam Rost, and in the period of Shlos Shloshim, Lottie Oster, mother of Leslie Varon, Nancy Rubin, and David Levine, brother of Harold Levine. Holding these names close to our hearts and the names of your loved ones as well. We turn now to page 90 for the Mourner's Kaddish, and we invite you, if you wish, to rise. Yitzkadal v'yitzkadash shemei rabah, v'yalma divrach erutei v'yamlik malchutei, v'chayechon v'yomechon v'chayei t'kol beit Yisrael, v'agala v'yizman kari v'yimru, amen. Yehei shemei rabah mavarach le'olam olamei almaya, Yit barak v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitramam v'yanaseh v'yitadar v'yitaleh v'yitalal shemei d'kudasha b'richu le'elam v'irchata v'shirata tush b'rata v'nechamata d'amiran v'yama v'imru, amen. Yehei shlama rabba min shemaya v'chayim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru, amen. Osei shalom v'imramav huya asei shalom aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru, amen. May all their memories be for a dear and loving blessing in this new year to come and in all the years to come. And together we say, Amen. Amen. We invite you to take a seat and we continue with the rest of our service. <laughs> Microphone switch. In just a moment, we're going to turn to close our service. Thank you to everyone who tuned in tonight. Um, I wanted to say a couple more thank yous. First to our amazing band who is here with us tonight, Ben Bauscher, Scott K. 
Podcaster, Lenny Brainman, Alana Opgang, thank you so much to my amazing co-clergy here, Rabbi Sarah Marion, and a huge welcome to Cantor Michelle Rubel. We are so grateful you are here. Welcome to your first High Holy Days at B'nai Israel. I know everyone <laughs> is, uh, is waving to you and sending good energy. It feels good. And just want to thank our amazing tech team, who we'll thank very often throughout these High Holy Days, uh, who are working in the back there, Neil Fink and Carl Erwich, and on double duty tonight, also on the tech team, Mr. Ben Bauscher. Thank you to you, Ben, uh, for being in the band and helping with all the setup here tonight. We uh, hope to see you tomorrow uh, in various capacities, uh, starting at 9 o'clock AM. Uh, there's two options for that hour. Uh, you can join a welcoming the day with Anne and Liz. Those of you who love the tent service can um, start your day with, with them. And if you have young children, join with our Havara service. Our main service will begin at 10.30 a.m. Uh, and you can use the, the link that you received uh, from our from office to, to join that. In the afternoon, our in-person drive-in shofar services. Uh, hope you signed up. Um, you, and you can join in all those various locations as well. Uh, and then please join Second Day Rosh Hashanah um, for Tashlik, for all of our events. You can find them all. They've been emailed out. They're on our website. Uh, please find ways to engage. Uh, thank you to WVOF, the voice of Fairfield, 88.5 FM, for also <laughs> hosting us tonight. Thanks for loaning us your airwaves. Uh, to the good Jewish people of Bridgeport. We're very appreciative of you, and hopefully everyone had an opportunity uh, to listen either on the radio or through Zoom. So thank you again. Hey, hey Rabbi Schultz, what yeah. if you're a, a family that has a kid that's like Kahila age? Yes. Thank you, Kana Rubal. Just curious. <laughs> you can join at 3.30 p.m. Join at 3.30 p.m. Uh, on the open public for, um, open link uh, if you have kids, elementary school age, middle school age, come join with us uh, for that service as well. Thank you. No problem. Awesome. So uh, we're going to uh, just turn with a little closing blessing and a song. We're going to talk. Um, turn back to the song that we began with. Uh, the words, again, are on page nine. Um, before we do that, I'll just take a moment uh, to bring us back into this space and to go close our service. Mishaberach avotenu imotenu, may the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, may you offer us great blessing in this year 5781. As we transform our living rooms into sanctuaries, or our back patios into tents, may you give us the ability and the patience and the focus to find a sense of spirituality and holiness on these high holy days. Infuse us with strength. Enable us to see one another and all the gifts that we bring in this world. May you give us voice. May you give us story. May you enable us to be present and strong in this moment in time. May we each find our way in this year 5781. And together we say, Amen. Turn now to our closing song. Again, the words are on page nine. We come to town.
Tick a 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 tick a